Hello, my name is Katherine Montana, and I'm a second year master's student at San Francisco State University. I'm also a second time ARC scholarship recipient, and I am so grateful for the wonderful support that the ARC Foundation has provided me throughout my entire master's. So while I'm a student at San Francisco State, I conduct my research actually at the California Academy of Sciences under the advisement of Dr. Lauren Esposito. And I fo focus on arachnid biodiversity and evolution. So I'm super excited to give you a little preview of the research that I have been working on and excited to talk with you all more about it at the symposium as well. So I work on a family of spiders called the dictinids. Um, they are uh, very diverse and as such, there are many different um, ad adaptations that they've had and lots of questions that still exist about their relationships to one another. So they're distributed worldwide. Um, I made this map using publicly available data on museum specimens, as well as um, occurrences that have been noted by the public. And you can see they're found all over the world. And as such, they're also um, found to have many diverse ecologies. Some of them are found in the really northernmost parts of the world. Others are found in desert salt flats and some of the hottest and air and ground temperatures on Earth. And still others are aquatic and they actually can make an air bubble um, to allow themselves to live underwater. And with all this wonderful diversity, there still remains questions about what their evolutionary relationships are. And so I'm asking specifically about the, the genera within this family. What are the relationships between them? And specifically for the genera Lathes and Blina and Dictina, I want to unravel this mystery of how the spiders are related to one another. And the way that I've been doing that has focused a lot on, um, on molecular methods and DNA sequencing. And here's just a, a quick uh, quick overview of the uh, computational methods that I have employed um, since I've gotten the DNA uh, back from our sequencing facilities. And I'm happy to talk with you all more about it at the symposium as well. And here's just also a preview of the phylogenetic tree that I've produced using my DNA sequencing data. I have found that the family uh, actually needs to be revised. There is a group called Bromella that renders the family uh, paraphyletic, which means that not everything um, that was previously thought to be part of the family uh, should be included in that family. Um, and then there's also Lathes, which is one of the um, genera that I was interested in looking at is also quite diver diverged from the rest of the dictionids. So here's just a little preview. I'm excited to talk more about it. And I'm so grateful, of course, to ARCS and my advisor, Lauren Esposito, as well as the other members of my lab. Thanks again, and looking forward to talking more. Thank you.